Sorry about that. But, uh, Tucker came in and uh, wanted a tree. We have more treats out here than we have in the house. We go through a lot of treats. You know, if you like pets and you're going to own a pet, which I'd recommend if you're going to love the pet, if you're going to just take it and tie it up outside someplace and bring it in at night and tie it up in a day, well then you're not a pet person. However, if you're going to treat it like you would treat your kids, in most part, some people treat their kids like shit. However, um, then they're, they're great to have around. They really are. However, you have to think of them as costing as much as it would a child. Because you have to go through the feeding, the doctor visits, the, uh, you know, the vet bills, the medication, the vitamins, you know, the monthly supply of heart guard and tick and flea because that stuff you know if a dog gets sick because of a tick or worms because of the heartworms um, or even worms in the gut you know which is common with a lot of dogs uh, you're really not going to know it unless you take them to the vet once in a while so uh, so you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Our boys go to vet once a year, unless they feel uh, or we feel there's something wrong, and then naturally we take them to the vet sooner. You have to pay attention to your animals as much as you would your kids, more so because they communicate differently, and you're not going to learn the way of communication unless you pay attention to them. So, you know, they learn our way. Well, we have to learn their way. In some ways, they're probably smarter than us. Uh, but, uh, for instance, heartworm, you know, that can kill your animal before you even know it. And meanwhile, they're not going to feel good. You know, they're not going to look good. Uh, just worms basically in the gut. That, that can be serious because they could be starving to death even though you're feeding them. Because the worms are eating all the food and the nutrient that you're giving them. So they're going to start getting skinny even though you're feeding them. So if you don't check their stool constantly to see if you see any movement in there or anything or take them to a doctor or even take a stool sample to the doctor, um, you know, you're not going to know. So, yeah. <coughs> uh, I had a, a neighbor years back that had a dog, and uh, the dog always looked undernourished. She says, but I'm feeding him all the time. He eats. Yeah, but he's starving. You're feeding him. He's putting the food into his gut. But the tapeworms, or whatever worms you want to call it, are down in there eating it all before it gets a chance to nourish his body. I mean, they have pills for that, you know. You take a pill, or you give them a pill, or whatever it is, a couple times that, you know, I don't know exactly when, because, you know, we don't have that problem, but, uh, you know, over time, they get rid of them and they start putting on weight. Uh, but they're, uh, they're always going to want to eat. I'll talk. And uh, like I say, if you don't pay attention to them, they don't complain. You have to, you have to understand them. And the only time they complain is if they're really hurting or sick, you know, if you see a change in their habit a little bit, you know. But meanwhile, other than that, uh, I don't know how I got in that. Oh, because Tucker came in for a treat. Um, 
So, that's out there doing what it's got to do. I'm going to go over here and look up those welders that the guy gave me the information on. Uh, I got to go out to the truck and get that cleaned up because it's a mess from last night. I've got four wet garments out there. Because when it's pouring rain, you need on a raincoat. Well, when you get back in the truck, you don't want to have a wet raincoat on while you're sitting there. So you try to get the coat off and get into the truck before you get wet. And then when you get some jerk that can't understand that the road is closed, even though you have tape across it, cones out, your vehicle in front of it with lights flashing, you know, they still got to try to sneak through because they, they're, they're just idiots. You know, that's all there is to it. So you have to get out. And then when they see you get out of the truck, then they decide they're going to move. They're going to leave. So, but meanwhile, you get out of the truck, you're half on, half in, got your coat half on, half off. And meanwhile, it's pouring rain, so now you're soaking wet for that, for that 30 seconds of being half in, half out. So now you got to change your clothes again. I mean, it was just constant, you know. And then you start getting clammy. Then your windows will start fogging. Now do you want air or do you want heat? I mean, it was just, it was just a miserable night last night. I mean, a few times I went out and stood in the rain. I mean, I had rain gear on, you know, just to, to get out there because it was a, it was just, you know, annoying between the, the heat, the air, the windows fogging, non-fogging, you know, clammy in the truck, sweating, you know. Anyway, and then people asking dumb questions like, why am I without power? Do I look like I work for the power company? <laughs> yeah. You know, well, they have power over there, but I haven't got power over here. Well, that's because they're on a different line. Your line happens to be affected, and so it affects everybody on this side of the street. Oh, well, maybe I should have my line transferred to the other side. Can they do that? I said, again, do I look like I'm with the power company? You know, and then uh, I says, I'm sure they can do anything if you want to pay for it. But that doesn't mean that the power on the other side is not going to go out. So what are you going to do? I says, if you're that concerned about power going out, get a generator. He says, oh, I never thought of that. Yeah, that's like you don't think that you, you're going to get through or not get through a, line, a road that's closed. Alright guys, let me do what I gotta do. I gotta get out to the truck, and I get in, I gotta come in here.